Okay, everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to be back, and I am here, and I'm better than ever. So, I had to take, like, a little break for myself. I'm still trying to figure everything out, and um, in that process, I have gotten my leg. I have been going to physical therapy twice a week. I also want to get to where I can do like maybe yoga once a week as well. Also, but right now I'm just doing physical therapy. So today I wanted to talk about like the leg a bit and how like it kind of works, mechanics of it, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then next time I'll talk about like, you know, showing a walk or something, whatever. But anyway, so this is like my liner and this is the part that goes into the socket of the leg and my limb goes in here. And so it's kind of like a suction moment and it honestly doesn't feel terrible because it's like a lot of padding right here where the limb ends. Um, but yeah, so this goes into the socket and when putting this on, you have to make sure these flaps are down or it won't suction properly. So most of the time throughout the day, I'm very, very tall. So riding in cars is very difficult for me. So usually like my leg is like this in the car. It's like up in the air. So most of the time I'm having to like re-put my leg on. So I'm having to bring it out, change it. But yeah, um, it's one of those things I guess I'm gonna have to deal with as a tall person. Mm. I do love being tall though. But anyway, so this is my leg. Oh, wow. Okay, I just noticed like it's, it has a little echo in here. Um, but yeah, so I decided to go with purple. And this was a hard decision for me because I'm like, this is about to be like my leg for like a couple of months, like the same color. And I love fashion, so I needed something cute, right? So anyway, I went with purple and actually um, my prosthesis guy, Sean, he picked this color out. Um, yeah, I said purple, but he went out and found like the purple, like he did such a good job. And apparently uh, it started a trend for people wanting shimmers now. So y'all are welcome. <laughs> And I also thought about like a fishnet moment because I was talking to my friend Paris and she was like, wouldn't it be awesome if you could do fishnets? And I was like, uh, yeah. And we went to Target and I found some sheer fishnet stockings and yeah, this is what we ended up with. The fishnet purple moment. Hmm. Yes, and I love it so much. Um, but yeah, so that's that. So this is like the valve, and this is what like keeps it suctioned. And so it's like a hole that goes through or whatever. But when you press like this button, it lets the air out, and this is how you pull the leg out. Um... For when I first started, I always had to like unscrew and like make sure um, that the socket was like all the way down and here, not the socket. Yeah, making sure it was like all the way down in here. But yeah, it's super exciting. Um, most of the time the leg kind of works for itself. Um, the hardest part is like just making sure it locks out and it pretty much does that on its own. 
I'm so glad that the foot is static because um, eventually you can get feet that also move. And right now I'm just like really trying to focus on making sure that knee locks out. But I can't wait till I be walking with like a cute foot. But anyway, you know, it's a slow process. Um, I, they say like I'm killing it already, but you know, sometimes I get in my head, I'm like, oh my gosh, I should be like, I should be model walking by now. What's happening? But the hardest thing for me is putting my trust in this leg. That's the hardest thing because I had noticed um, I am still using a lot of strength in my right leg. Even now I'm trying to be more aware when I'm standing freely with the leg on that I'm like shifting weight to the left side. So it's all about the trust. It's all about the trust. I don't know if y'all um, listen to my podcast or if y'all been seeing any of the other videos, but if not, um, trust the process has been a part of it a lot now lately. It's something uh, like reassuring about that, like trust the process. It's, it's a process for sure, but we're here. I mean, I've fallen for the first time the other day and it wasn't as scary as I thought it was, but luckily I have been practicing on how to get up and what to do in those situations, so it was fine. So, I don't know. I'm just... I'm ready for this journey. It's a long process. The cancer is finally gone. The chemo is finally over. So now the focus is mainly on the leg and it feels great. Um, and we did do tests. <laughs> That's another exciting thing. I'm just like kind of skipping over it. We did tests, like they did CT scans and there is no more cancer whatsoever. So we can clap for that. Um, so I asked them, were we doing like MRIs next or whatever, just to be like 100% sure, because I think the MRI scan the whole body, because we just did chest scans, but um, they're trying to limit the amount of radiation like around my body. So um, the MRI would be a lot. Um, also, I asked them um, how long will I have to keep my port and we're keeping the port in for two years. Um, they just want to make sure before they take it out because I'm going to be doing like um, chest scans for a couple, well, every like four months or so. And we have to keep the port in for two years just to be safe because it is one of those things that is surgically placed in my body and it also has to be surgically removed. So, for two more years, we will have it. Um, what else? Dang it, it was something else. Mm, you know, like, when you... You know, like, when you forget something, like, in a space, you can go back to that space, but what happens when you forget something while you're sitting down? Ugh, god darn it. I know something about, oh, also about the port. So the port is something I still have to go to the hospital to get done. So um, we have to get it flush every four to six weeks. So it's like, yes, chemo is over, but also I'm still gonna be seeing them quite frequently. So I don't know, it's, I guess, like, when the two years is over, that'll be, like, whew, brow sweat. Like, brow sweat? You swipe the sweat off your brow? You know, you know what I'm trying to say. But, yeah. Um, but 
but we still know it's like we're cancer free and I'm so excited about that and I think I definitely made the right decision to get rid of it I also read a lot on it before it happened and the statistics of it coming back um, and even people that got knee replacements with that type of with that type of um, bone cancer tumor eventually they had to get their leg amputated down the line so why not when I'm younger get it done um, and again I'm making this sound so easy but it has not been an easy process but we are here and I'm going to continue to share my story and share my journey and it has been a long time and I'm going to do better about getting in front of this camera. I found like an easier way to set up my lights. So I'm ready. So y'all should be ready too. And thank y'all for tuning in. Bye. Love y'all.